Hi you guys, Ogfog here and welcome back to another FIFA 18 play review and today I'm going to be reviewing the 74 rated silver Italian striker Marco Sal. He cost me 500 coins to pick up his card and in the 11 games that I played him with he scored me 13 goals and got me 7 assists and he does have a 4 star weak foot and 3 star skimmers and getting off into his in-game stats for me his main standout stats are his agility, his 95 balance, his 83 attack positioning and his 91 sprint speed. And guys, getting up into the player view for this Marco Sal card was a massive fan of this card. I think this guy was just a forgotten man in FIFA. Do you remember him back in FIFA 15? He a goal card. He was one of the first OP players that I'd ever used in FIFA. Uh, the only players I can think about before that were probably the Info Marco Royce and the um, the Mandzukic as well from FIFA 14. But this card was so OP in FIFA 15. And maybe he was in 16 and 17, but I never used him in those FIFAs. But bam, I have rediscovered him in this FIFA. And uh, pretty much the other day, I was just kind of looking at uh, awesome uh, silver strikers just to kind of look at and I was looking at the Cristiano card which cost like 200,000 coins and I was thinking I wonder if there's another silver card who's way cheaper who's just as good and I've, I've found him and uh, he is better than a lot of gold uh, cards I've used this year he is better as well than some icon strikers genuinely better than some icon strikers I've used this FIFA which says a lot and he only cost 500 coins which was brilliant so Marco Sar getting off into his player review for me his first pro's got to be his pace he is lightning quick and for a number of reasons First of all, 89 acceleration and 91 sprint speed is very, very nice. And then at the height of five foot seven, personally, I like short players. Del Piero, who is also under six foot, he's been doing the business uh, for me now for a couple of months, and he's very short. So I, I don't have a problem with using short players. Yes, I would like someone that's often, you know, there are occasions where I want an Ibrahimovic who's got a bit of an aerial threat about them. But overall, I do prefer that uh, smaller type of player in my attack. That's just my type of um, preference when using a striker. I want a smaller player, uh, and then also that 93 agility and 95 balance it works like an absolute beaut and it's key for me to have those stats because I'm really struggling in this FIFA but when somebody's got great pace a nice short height, a nice agility, a nice balance. That works well in my favour. It might not work well for everybody, but for me, it suits my game style so, so well. And uh, his pace is just fantastic. You know, you'll be coming up against a Godin or a Pepe or even a Sergio Ramos. Bam! He's got no problem. He's going to go straight past them and, uh, and hopefully finish. Because his finishing... I'm going to put it as a pro. Um, I'm... <sighs> His finishing, he often did miss. I'm not going to lie, his 13 goals in, uh, in 11 games is fantastic. He did often, he should have had about 18 goals, but he missed some easy chances for me. And it is down to his poor finishing on occasions. Um, but from a silver card, when you're buying a silver card for 500 coins, I'm still going to put it down as a pro because 13 goals in 11 games, all online matches, by the way. Um, you know, when you're scoring that, you've got to put it down as a pro. Although the weird chances which he did miss, overall, his finishing was very good for a silver card. 75 finishing. I believe I put the sniper camera tab, which does increase his shooting and finishing a little bit more uh, into the 80s, I think. Honestly, for a silver card, his finishing was absolutely fantastic. He even scored me some pretty good long shots. I'd say his uh, shot power is well into the 80s. And, the, and even his long shots are probably going to the high 70s, maybe even into the low 80s as well. He was just fantastic in those areas. And I'm going to put dribbling down as well as another pro, but mainly agility and balance in that category because, like, his ball control isn't overly that great. 78 composure is not too bad either for his silver. He's just that's even 73 jumping, you know, for his height is pretty damn good. 76 stamina as well. Yeah, I'd like that to be a little bit higher, but, you know, what can you do? He is only a silver. You have got to remember that, guys. But, um... Honestly, just such a good player. And even seven assists in 11 games, guys, which is absolutely phenomenal. He's such a good team player. He is so, so funny. He really suits my style. And I think he's going to suit a lot of you guys' styles when you're using this card. For 500 coins, I'm not I'm not expecting anyone to go and pick him up and say, oh, yeah, I'm going to go and use him in my team in foot champs or something like that. But bear it in mind, you know, this card is never going to cost probably more than 1,000 coins. Maybe it might do if the uh, Calcio ISBC when that eventually comes out. But at the moment, it's going to be a very cheap player for you guys to go for. And just buy him. You know, what's 1,000 coins? Coins gonna do any harm to you. It's gonna literally do nothing, uh, no harm. It can only, you know, if it doesn't work out for you guys, put him into an SBC. And if it works out for you, get brilliant. You can use him as a super sub, or you can even use him in your team if you want to. But uh, I'm gonna give him a ten out of ten for a silver card. I genuinely don't have any cons to him. Yes, I like him to be a little bit stronger, but I am prepared with the. I, you know, I'm used to using people like Del Piero who aren't strong, Mark Overmars, Dembele. So I'm not gonna put that down as a as a con for him overall. I think he was a fantastic player and definitely a ten out of ten. A must buy to try out at least, in my personal opinion. But anyway, guys, it's gonna finish off this part of you. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.